Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do Kolmogorov and Smirnov test related to statistical distribution. Kolmogorov and Smirnov test, which is also known as KS test, is a non-parametric test to compare a sample with a reference probability distribution or to compare two samples distributions. The KS statistic quantifies a distance between the empirical distribution function and the cumulative distribution function of the reference distribution. This is the formula to calculate D, which is KS statistic. If D is relatively large, then we can reject null hypothesis. It means that the distribution from sample data is not equal to reference distribution. So I will show you how to use KS statistic for exponential distribution and normal distribution as a reference distribution. So let's cover uh, exponential distribution first. There are 10 observations from X variable. So we want to test the hypothesis is that the distribution of X is exponential with the mean of theta equals 40. So let's check uh, uh, exponential distribution in Excel. So uh, EXPON dot DIST. So we need to define X and Lambda and cumulative, whether true or not. So this is X. So we need to calculate Lambda, right? So according to uh, exponential PDF, uh, actually uh, expectation of X is 1 over lambda, which is equal to theta. So uh, we want to test theta is uh, 40. So the expectation must be 1 over uh, theta, right? So let's calculate the mean first. Average of all x values. And let's count how many uh, observations we have. So count. Uh, lambda from uh, this data uh, can be uh, can uh, be calculated by one over mean, right? Zero point zero two two nine. So uh, in reference distribution, let's say lambda is uh, zero point zero two five. So we want to test whether this data, right, uh, is from uh, is uh, is from this distribution, exponential with mean of theta, right? So this lambda from reference distribution is 1 over 40. So uh, to calculate D, we need to calculate I over N and I minus 1 over N, right? So let's uh, get I, uh, cumulative I first. So one, two, so in a row. All right. So let's get I over N first. So I over, uh, there is uh, count data here. So let's fix it by pressing F4. Cool. So this one, I minus one over N I minus 1 over N. Right. So let's get uh, uh, FX from exponential distribution. So this is, uh, uh, this should be reference uh, distribution. So let's use EXPON function. Select x here, comma, and lambda. We want to uh, use uh, reference lambda from reference distribution here. So uh, press F4, and comma. So we need to use a cumulative. So let's say true. Okay. All right. So we need to calculate d plus and d minus. So 
uh, this is max of i of l minus ui ui is actually fx so uh, i over n minus uh, cumulative exponential distribution here okay uh, in terms of d minus Cumulative exponential distribution minus uh, this one is from uh, column E. Right. So uh, according to SAS definition, we can get uh, t plus uh, by maximum of individual uh, value. So x function. In terms of d minus max of d minus values. Okay, then max of t plus and d minus. All right, this is the uh, KS statistic. So in our program, uh, we can get this uh, this statistic uh, once we read data. Yeah, x uh, variable. So I allocate this data as d, and uh, by using k star test, uh, the first uh, one is d comma, and p exponential is uh, defined. We define. Uh, we want to test uh, this data whether it follows uh, exponential. Yeah, and this is uh, significance uh, the lambda. This one. Then we can get this statistic, right? So there is a table here. Uh, we get uh, these statistics. So we want to see, we want to know whether the, this statistic uh, is uh, greater than uh, critical value. So uh, when there is uh, 10 uh, samples, considering 5% significance level, the critical value is 0 0.40925 right so our uh, deed statistic is smaller than uh, critical value it means that we cannot uh, cannot reject nor hypothesis so we can say that this data follows uh, actually uh, this data uh, is from exponential distribution with uh, theta equals 40, right? The p-value, we can get uh, p-value from uh, uh, c-o-n-t, k-s, c-d-f function. So I allocated this statistic here and number of uh, samples, which is equal to 10. Then we can calculate uh, this p-value. So uh, considering 5% significance level, we cannot reject nor hypothesis. Okay, let's move on to normality test. So I have prepared 50 samples data from iris data. Iris data is actually uh, installed, I mean uh, saved once you install our program. So I sort out data uh, separate lengths from uh, small, smallest to largest. Okay, so I want to test whether separate lengths uh, is from mu equals 6.88 and standard deviation equals uh, 0 0.6 of normal distribution, right? So let's get mean and standard deviation from uh, sample data. So mean, uh, we can use average function. And standard deviation. We can use stdev.s function. Right. This is the uh, mean and standard deviation from sample uh, data. Right. So we want to test uh, this sample data is from this one. So 
the samples mean and reference this mean mu is different, right? So let's get a uh, cumulative i. So one and two. We can you uh, select two cells and double click this uh, part. Then we can see uh, numbers in a row uh, as a cumulative number. Then also let's get uh, i over n. I over n. Uh, there is uh, 50 uh, samples, so we can divide by uh, 50. All right. So I minus 1 over n. I minus 1 over n. All right. Let's get a uh, uh, cumulative uh, normal distribution. So we can use an uh, norm.dist and x value is from here and comma so mean is from uh, this one press F4 and comma and standard deviation here press F4 comma true right uh, let's get d plus uh, d plus can be calculated by uh, i over n here minus uh, cumulative normal distribution for uh, you know to get the minus i minus one sorry normal uh, cumulative normal distribution function minus i minus 1 over n here right so d plus uh, we can use max function and for d minus some uh, not uh, max of D minus values and then uh, finally we can get the statistic max of D minus and D plus right this is uh, the statistic so uh, we were uh, this the statistic uh, this is a uh, Kolmogorpu Smirnov uh, table so there are 50 when there, there is uh, 50 samples and 500 significance level. The critical value yeah, is here. Uh, uh, 0.18845. Right? So this is our D statistic is greater than uh, critical value. It means that we can reject null hypothesis. So uh, our uh, data, so uh, it, our data does not uh, actually uh, is not from uh, mu equals six point eight and standard deviation equals uh, zero point six. So we can reject uh, this uh, assumption. Okay, and finally, this is uh, our program. So. Uh, by using ks dot test, and we can define x from iris uh, data. So I only selected uh, Virginica uh, species here, and define the normal distribution, and mu equals six point eight, and standard deviation as uh, zero point six, right? So I got uh, same statistic in R, and the p value is here. But there is a warning message, right? So uh, the Kolmogorov Smirnov test actually uh, shouldn't use a uh, ties value. So uh, in order to remove uh, this uh, warning message to get uh, right p value, right? This is right p value. Once there's the statistic, uh, we have uh, 0 0.25146 d statistic and 50 sample size. The p value is uh, 0 0.0028. So, uh, 
in a second uh, R program, I just added randomly uh, generated a small uh, value uh, and added this value to uh, SEPA length data. Then there is no warning message and same uh, this statistic and p-value is uh, 0 0.0028 which is same as uh, this one. So what I want to say is that uh, in order to get right p-value, uh, uh, I just added small uh, randomly generated values. I'm not quite sure uh, whether this method is uh, very uh, right way, but just in order not to have this warning message, I added these small uh, values. So uh, considering our 5% uh, significance level, uh, we can say that both of them, uh, we can say that we can reject neural hypothesis. So uh, our sample data distribution uh, having uh, 6.588 uh, mean and standard deviation as uh, 0.6 is uh, different from this reference distribution. This is uh, how we can use a KS uh, test, KS statistic for exponential uh, distribution and normal distribution. I hope it was useful for you to uh, understand and use uh, Kolmogorov and Simonov goodness of it test related to reference uh, distribution. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you uh, to understand KS uh, test. Thank you.